Alright, hey guys, what's up, it's Wolf, your one and only, and welcome back to some more Dalkinus Code. So yeah, we're going to go through the exclusive um, stages, like I said, for um, the exclusive events. And then we're going to check out the story. But first things first, I did um, finally do a lab. It's out of raids. Finally, I got a full lap in. <laughs> For like areas. So they reset you back to area one once you uh, do one lap. And I got a hundred of these that I can go through. Dude, I'm always sad when Raid disappears. Because Raid gives such good rewards, it's insane. Oh! Wow, okay, they just straight up gave it to me. No point in the utter shards, you know? <laughs> So, out of this raid ticket, you can straight up just get the gear. I didn't know that. I'm mostly after the shards, to be honest. Nah, no shards on that. But yeah, like I said, we're, we're going to do the exclusive stuff today. Or well, I did say like a few days ago, but yeah, we're doing it now. I had a whole bunch of other videos I wanted to put up. And wow, you can get um, character shards too. I almost had a burp come through. So what's this? Okay, just more of that stuff. And I think I only have one more batch. So that's what feels bad. It did give me a lot of flags though. Which is good. For whenever I get uh, Masamune. To 85. Which is taking a lot longer than I thought. <laughs> Man dude if she was 85 that would be freaking sweet right now. All I need is shards dude. All I need is shards. And that's pretty much it. Now, it is time for the exclusive event. Alright, like always, you guys know the drill. The story will be at the end of the video. And we will be going through... Oh yeah, there was another event that randomly popped up. Inside of here. I didn't see these at first. They were like more festival stuff from Tiona's stuff. That we'll be doing. Or either I'll be doing, whichever one. I'm just going to farm the hell out of that. I was wondering where you get Tiona's coins. And that confused the hell out of me. But anyway... Go ahead and get started in here. She's 82 now. She's getting there. Just three more. So what's going on here? So do we... Okay, we don't need a certain character, so we can just go in. Stage one. Okay, so it, it leads off where they last stopped off. Okay. Still wondering when the main characters of the exclusive event is going to get another job. I'm pretty sure he still has his first job. Wait, are these guys even strong? No, not really. I could have brought Minerva and just nuke most of them. I'm gonna let you handle it. Doesn't seem like they need my help. Okay, 
got. Most of my time has just been spent on raids. And raids have been real fun. Like I said, man, I'm gonna I'm gonna be sad once they go away. Then I gotta wait for the next event that shows raids. Ugh. Dude. Just give them back. That was weird that I finished the Lizardman quest in here. I guess it means any Lizardman. I think there's one more quest that I have to do too. I doubt this is going to be any short like stories. Because usually even the exclusive events kind of longish. So what does all this stuff give me? A bunch of good stuff. Get a whole bunch of gems. Okay. Now I gotta defeat Tiona a couple of times. I was more distracted about the lizard event in order to then uh, fighting Tiona. I don't know why. But you. Go back and finish this now that we took a look at that. So like always there's ten stages within this. I wonder what the extra dungeon looks like to be honest. Seems like it'll probably be interesting. I hope they came up with something as unique as others, but not too tedious as hell. It's kind of funny that they released another fire unit versus releasing um, Dark Masamune. Where everybody's already used most of their fire shards just to max out <laughs> Dark Masamune. I mean, she looked like a wind unit at first when I first saw her. But, nope. <laughs> Just another fire unit. I mean, she's an exclusive fire unit, but I don't know if she's as good as the others. I have not seen her skills. She m looks more like a defensive type character. And plus she has a new job that nobody else has. Man, I like the exclusive units that always have like these unique jobs that have all these different attacks. Alright, next. Episode 3. Thankfully, I don't have to do anything yet. Whew. Jeez. I should definitely be asleep before it's time for me to stream, but you know. Eh, I wanted to do this video and get it out of the way. Before it goes into next week's events and stuff. And yeah, we don't need that. We have enough on our plate. <laughs> I don't need two events at the same time. Of course, we're always fighting wolves. You know, wolves are the most common enemies next to Lizardmen that attack our characters in the story. It's funny only because it's actually true. Okay, so he's still in here. Still no quest to bring him that I know of. 
I was gonna say they're definitely not gonna get the three kills. Damn, dude, what's up with the bad aim? Feels bad. Aim harder. All right. Stage four done. All right. What's in stage five? Do I need to bring anything special? Nope. But apparently, I need to bring Chiaya. <laughs> well, not Chiaya. Um, Minerva. Just because this just seems like really easy stuff right now. It's weird because normally, you know, in the sacred. Well, well what the hell? Do we have England cops out here? <laughs> well then. But here, like I was saying, normally we would have um, the game getting harder as, you know, events went on. But it doesn't seem like he's doing that. The only reason I say that is just because in the Sacred Stone, difficulty kept jumping up higher and higher as the story went on. But now, it doesn't seem to be doing that too much. Oops, nope, not you. Was well, not even really telling me the level of the enemies either. Which is even more odd. Regular Masamune has been doing all right. She's not like extremely good, but she's pretty decent to be honest. Ah, oh, you're not gonna use the master ability? Normally, you're always quick to use it. Oh really? Why the hell did you not use your master ability? It's just weird because Ultima literally always goes into his master ability. Okay, that time you use it? What was the special occasion for that? Okay then. I have a lot of questions for that, but alright. I'm just casually changing out characters as we go. <laughs> oh yeah, Vivi's strong as hell. Especially if you have her, uh, if you have her guns. And once you get her to 80, her her freaking range on her weapons is like amazing. She's basically like a magic sniper in a way. He's a max out her sage though. I 
I guess you'll see why VV's uh, high on the tier list. Range and insta cast magic damage. Like I said, this ever since she was released, she's gonna be OP. More random equipment that's probably gonna suck. <laughs> I don't even lie, dude. It's probably all that gear is probably gonna suck. Just because it's not guaranteed a rare either. I'll probably even get fragments from it. Yeah, we get to see her stance. We get to see her dying animation. <laughs> I wouldn't do that for you, dude. The slow rat, really. You coward, how dare you slow? I think I have evasion on her. That's why you guys aren't seeing her com her counter. Cause I know it counters off skills too. Oh yeah, also, yeah, Dark Artemis, done. Well, not almost done. I need to finish her, uh, Sniper Plus. Well, not Sniper Plus, uh, Sniper Job Enhance. Then she's basically fully done. I can thank Alpha for that one. He actually gave me a team that worked now and then during runs. In order to just auto farm her place, her area for like um, her bow and equipment. I mean, it didn't work all the time. Sometimes it, it failed pretty damn hard. Zhang Yi. Wait, isn't. Isn't it Zeng Yu inside of the Dynasty World? Dynasty Warrior World? Is that where we're getting this from? Damn, dude, she never gets a turn, so we can't see what she does. <laughs> By the way, give your Dark Masamune her um, extra dungeon weapon. It's ten times better than the Masamune sword you get from summon. That's for sure. I mean, you can go either way because the stats on it aren't half bad, but... Her sword is way better. The master ability is at least is way better. Huh. 
Alright, stage 9. Done. Oh. I didn't kill all enemies? Okay, so I'm guessing there's enemies that summon after a while. I don't know. Time limited. Whoops. No. Don't do that. So why is it time limited? Is it just talking about like the vent in general? Or was that talking about something else? Oh god, she, now she brought out the real goons. Your real goons still stand no chance against my fire team. <laughs> Ow. I figured they were gonna hit her. Yeah, I need to really up that VV. I'll say the demon's gonna be easy. Wait, was that stage 10? No way that was stage 10. It was stage 10. Sorry to disappoint you, game, but there was a death during that. Cliffhanger. <laughs> Just like Demon Slayer. When these demons there cliff hanged me. Fire units only. That could be arranged. I mean, it's not like I haven't used them already. <laughs> I hate that I can't enhance it from here. Honestly, don't need my Mouse Mune evading damage anyway. Whoops. I'm actually, I got, I got that shield. Okay, I think I did pass it. Yeah, there it is. Holy shit, what the fuck? <laughs> Got a yawn in the middle of that. <laughs> that defense, though. Wait, is it as high as this armor that Zahar has? No, not even as high or as equal. The HP's over it though, but you know, only by like 25.
I am definitely going to see if I can find more of those. Too bad that they are actual armors and not trinkets. <laughs> that would be amazing. Or maybe someday they'll have a HP recovery trinket. A man can hope, you know? A man can definitely hope. Okay, so I need to be able to auto this 10 times. Actually, 15 times. So, you guys know the drill. We gotta figure out an auto team. <laughs> That's already a given. Without mercenary. Okay. Let's go. Because if I, I'm too lazy to do this fight 15 times, okay? You guys know how lazy I am. Okay, so we can still one shot the wolves. Those enemies are dead. Still summons other enemies. She's dead. I got souls in that team, so that doesn't count as a full on fire. See, regular Masamune is out here doing her thing. I plan on going back and level 91 like a lot of characters. A lot of free characters, to be honest. Because at least I would have like somewhat of a team going. That's not completely based around fire, you know? Maybe <laughs> you guys know my fire team is my best team right now. going to go down there. All right, good job, Aaron. So I'm guessing the demon summon something afterwards. Nope. The demon still summons nothing. I forgot my Masumune was like silenced, wasn't she? I was sitting there like, why is she really doing anything?
But thankfully, we can auto this. You guys want to test and see if we can auto uh, <laughs> the extra dungeon plus? <laughs> I mean, we don't really need to auto it, considering we'll probably only have to enter it once, but... You know, screw it, why not? They don't say anything about mercenaries, so let's go ahead and bring in another Masamune. I mean, we'll just bring in Alpha. Just because he's the first one I saw. <laughs> oh, so they have her in here now. Oh wow, okay, so Alpha's using her as Berserker. Hmm. Weird. Oh wow, it's like she was never here. <laughs> I just want the fire shards, okay? Use no items is easy. So we'll automatically get the weapon. I kind of see why. <laughs> Just because I'm pretty sure Berserker gets way more attack. Actually, there's a way I can do this with a no death run. Wow, she's the one who's blind and you, she dodged your attack. I mean, it seems like they're doing fine. Well, not she higher. <laughs> Say Chiaya seems like she's having some trouble. You guys are going to attack him more with the archer. Ah, oh, come on. Stop summoning this stuff. Just, just accept your fate, man. 
There we go. Too bad people are over there with you, and you're dead. But to say, unless you have some kind of weird special arrow that kills everybody, you better not. <laughs> okay, so we got auto that too. Okay, the two things we wanted. I need some more fire shards. Alright! At least we know we can do the extra dungeons pretty easy. Alright. It is story time. Since we've basically just brute forced our way through the actual extra dungeons and stuff. <laughs> We're not going to talk about it, okay? Well, actually, first I want to go do this. Then I'm going to do story. So I'll just add this on to the back. So be right back. All right. So we finally got it. I just wanted to look and see what was inside the memento before we kept going on. Hello? Game? Jeez. Come on. There we go. Let's see what we get. What is it? I think we have this, actually. Pretty sure we have this. Yeah, we do. Oh, well. But, yeah. At this point on, this is the end of the video for those of you guys who don't really care for the story or have already read it. I don't need that. Alright, let's go in. Episode 1. Oh uh, yeah, wasn't it, didn't this leave off when they were doing, like, some kind of search inside of the prison or something? For rooms? And they found, like, people being experimented on and bugs and stuff like that? <laughs> Been a long time since I actually read the story. Or actually, it a long time since they released another Sacred Stone. Wait, why did I say Sacred Stone? Another exclusive. God damn it. <laughs> I'm out of it today. Pretty sure after this video, I'm just gonna shut down and go to sleep. And wait for it to be time for me to stream. Okay, so yeah, I I'm starting to remember a little bit. So it was ruins that they went into. I don't remember the whole story of what happened last time, but I remember bits and pieces. Okay, yeah, the lavatory. So I was right. Where they were experimenting, experimenting on, like, kidnapped kids, I think.
I mean, yeah, nothing better to do. Might as well go. Ah, Sig. Still the big softy. Get stronger. <laughs> I'm just saying. Sig, you need to get a lot stronger, dude. Roxanne is still out playing you right now. And I have not seen you around in anybody's team anymore. Too bad they got the <laughs> the enlightenment before you too, and you were the first one to release. Mr. Velhelsing looking ass. Oh. <laughs> He is. She still hasn't figured it out. Roxanne, how are you gonna to walk away from Shion? <laughs> Throw hands, damn it. Oh well. <laughs> now nah, don't worry about it too much. It'll be fine. Shion is just doing his own thing. Roxanne's just jealous. <laughs> like always. Alright, episode two. <laughs> I still want to know why Sig looks way older than his own teacher. Didn't she take care of him and Roxanne? Sig, dude, you're outgrow. You already have old. You already have gray hairs, man. Well, completely white hair. Yeah, you look like an old man already. Acts like one sometimes too. <laughs>
you say that until the Wolf Nation attacks. I told you, dude, the Wolf Nation are already attacking or killing each other. Okay. The fuck? You mean their own kind? Okay, then. <laughs> Level three. Hunting grounds. Retreat. I don't know, they're calling out the whole gang. You shouldn't have let that one escape. He came back with his buddies. All you gotta do is just pick one. Be a goblin slayer. I knew it. It was the London police. No, just get <laughs> Lazy from Lust? Where's that sloth? Dude, as soon as you said those wrong words, the rest of them rolled up. Yeah. He ain't gonna report shit.
Gotta love Minerva. All right, that was level four. Huh, maybe Sig has been in jail more times than we can actually think right now. Probably broke out all of them. <laughs> He just seems like a rebel, you know? I mean, if it's private grounds and you want your soldiers to keep people off of it, I mean, I'd probably hire some people to keep people off my lawn. <laughs> Now they're probably going to get chased off by the cops. Really? Dude, just karate chop, the, chop them in the neck, make them pass out. That's how it works in Naruto. So far. Ah, he did do the Naruto chop. <laughs> Told you, dude, it works in Naruto. Might as well use it as, use it in this situation. Demons or golems, whichever one you want to call it. Golem like creatures. So now we're just calling them golem like creatures. I'm pretty sure we just called them demons. So, you know, they're demons. At least that's what they were called when we were first introduced to them.
Oh, rib doggo. It's just like, bro, you ain't worth our time. Oh, they went back to the runes. Dude, they got their AC cranked up. <laughs> That's exactly how my house is right now. Nice and cold, the way I like it. Outside, it's like somebody turned the heater on and doesn't know what the thermostat is for turning it down. Dude, I feel bad for anybody who has parents who won't turn on the air or refuse to turn down heat when it's already hot outside. Oh no, he has memories flooding back. Honestly, what happens when you get your memories back or remember something really detailed? <laughs> I'm curious now. Or do you just instantly remember everything? I have a lot of random questions this video. And a lot of random commentary. I don't know if it's just the tiredness talking or just... Me chilling. <laughs> hey, if you're a terrible person, we can always just do. no, 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 don't suggest it. Stop. <laughs> Episode 7? What the fuck? Episode 7! <laughs> Taming the Beast. 
So what is that what was going on with um that girl? And how our stages were going? I do step away from my crystal. <laughs> they must be creating some kind of alchemy drugs. <laughs> this is one mean factor you got going on here, sir. Is the doggo eating it? Oh, that's right. So that is the lust. So the cops are lust officers or soldiers, whichever one you want to go with. They look like London police, I swear. You know, lust kind of looks like a Londonish. Londonish place. Can I say that? Londonish. <laughs> Dude, you should have gave out a code red. Because <laughs> you're about to catch these hands. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, scary. Wait, was her cloak just white? Okay, yeah. but whatever. <laughs> hooded figures. I mean, you can call everything a hooded figure here. I mean, Greed does look like a whole bunch of Dynasty Warrior characters, so I wouldn't doubt it. <laughs> now that I actually think about it.
Oh. Oh, well, he, I was about to say, he's the one who sent the Raiders to kill everybody. Well, damn. Oh no, he's gonna place judgment on you. <laughs> this is why I say that character definitely needs to be. Definitely needs to get the rest of his jobs. Because he's actually pretty unique, but there's not much you can do with it. Okay, so yeah, I was right. There were getting kids getting kidnapped. I doubt it. Oh, that one looks weird. I like the color of her better than the originals, though. <laughs> Catch these hands. She ain't even worth it. She is the Stone Whisperer, or Construct Whisperer, whichever one you want to go with. Something Whisperer. <laughs> Alright, episode 10, last one. I don't think I skipped anything.
Oh, uh, well. Like any main character does, emotion driven shows their true power. Oh no, everybody got the boof. The boof. I'm about to say, you better not be a cliffhanger with your hands. Uh, well, I was about to say, error. Oh, now he's gonna self destruct. <laughs> like any other robot. Who the hell is that character? From the portrait, it kind of looks pretty dope. So that's him in the past? So he turned into a kid for his future. Talk about aging backwards. <laughs> 
Did you just fucking cliffhang me? How dare you? Alright, I guess we'll figure out what happens on the next one. <laughs> Whenever they decide to release the next exclusive event, which probably won't be anytime soon, you know. <laughs> now that's a big feels bad. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys on the next one. Until then, peace out.